Come with me today and we have got a Vauxhall Astra J 1.7 CDTI EcoFlex and we are going to be putting a timing bolt on it. Now the first thing that I've done is get this bonnet today, move it out of the way and use my own bonnet prop to hold that bonnet up because you don't want that in my way while I am doing a timing belt. First thing as well, we're going to disconnect this battery negative first. Now that we've got the battery disconnected, we can make our way around now to making room to access that timing belt. And what we need to remove is this air box just here so we can gain access to the engine mount. Now we've got the vehicle in the air, uh, we take remove the driver's side front wheel off, uh, the belly pan, and we're just going to lower it down now and we're going to remove this inner splash guard. Once we've removed the inner wheel hatch, we can move around then to the alternator belt tensioner, get a 15mm, take the slack off it, remove the belt, and then we can remove them four bolts out of the crank pulley. And we can drop it down and get the engine mount off. Now we've got the car back down on the floor, uh, get yourself a jack uh, underneath the sump with a block of wood. Do not forget the uh, block of wood because you will damage the sump. And we can move around now and take this engine mount off. That's all the engine mount out of the way. Uh, we've removed all the 10 mils now off the upper timing cover. And that should just pull off out of the way, revealing the timing belt. Now that we've got everything out of the way, we need to get a bar on the uh, crank pulley and we need to wind it over and get these holes. One there and one there lined up on the fuel pump. And there is two bolts that you put in, one through the pulley and it locks in. I don't know whether you can see it, it just bolts into the silver head down there. Once all the timing pins are in there, as you can see, one there and one by there, we need to jump around to the tensioner, 17mm, slacken it off, get yourself a 6mm Allen key, wind it down like so and then nip it back up again because that tensioner is spring loaded, just so you can get the belt off. And that is one timing belt off. Now, that timing belt is in good condition considering it's done 100,000 miles. Uh, anyway, we're going to jump around now. We've got the brand new one, which is an INA Shaffer one. They are awesome kits. Um, we've got a new tensioner, a new roller, and also some new bolts. So we'll get them fitted. Once fitted the new belt, uh, you start at the crankshaft and you fit it in a clockwise direction. Uh, we can jump around now. This tensioner, I have preloaded it, so we've got to now. 17, it's not a 17mm, it's a 15mm. Get your 15mm and you just back it off, and then once that springs back, now that belt is tensioned. That is it. And we can get that torqued up now to 49 Nm. Once we're happy with everything, we can then go ahead and remove our, our bolts that we put in the pulleys. Pull them out, and then we can turn that engine over twice and make sure that all our marks are lined back up. Once we've finished uh, turning our engine over and making sure that everything is perfect, we can go now ahead and put everything back together. I'm not going to bore you putting it back together, it's just a reverse procedure of what I took it apart. And there we have it, that car now is all back together. Let's get on the key, we've got my little bar so I can put my, well, bar on the clutch, shall I say. And we can give it a big start ruining. Absolutely perfect. I have also got a oil and filter to go on this vehicle as well. So I'm going to let that engine get up to temperature, let the oil get nice and warm. We can take it back up in the air, put all the trims back together. And once I've done that, we can get it sent. 